I mean, he was crying when I would want him to try to read with me almost every day, but I didn't have the tools or the knowledge to know what to do to help it be better. It's been a beautiful blessing to be able to come here and pay you guys a car payment every month and see my kid succeed. It was incredible just how he built confidence because he had been to the point where he didn't even want to try to read anymore. He just, he felt like he was dumb and after just a few months he was attempting to read some things and it was, and seeing the work that he was bringing home from here um, and he could read me these, these words, um, it was just beautiful and now he's trying to read signs like we went to um, the Mark Twain cave this past weekend and he's trying to read the signs that are in the cave which have difficult words like marriage and um, adventure and he is doing his best to sound them out and even just that attempt even if he can't always get them is just really huge and so then when my other son started to exhibit some of the same difficulties he's eight now um, I went ahead and started him last year too because I, I thought well if I can prevent him from feeling so discouraged like Cadrian had been I would want to do that. So the cost of both of them is kind of like a car payment, but it's it's really worth it to me to see their confidence build and to see them be able to achieve what they're achieving. I mean, Cadrian can read words like possession now. I mean, it's, it's amazing. They're always going to struggle with dyslexia. That's always going to be an issue for them. It's never gonna be cured, but they have the tools to overcome it and they have the confidence now that they can do it, which before the Barton Method, they did not have that. It has just changed their lives. Um, another thing that you should know is that I also had them enrolled in the special ed program at our local elementary school last year. And um, I think that was good and they enjoyed the one-on-one -on -one time from the teacher and she was really fun, but I do not think that they progressed um, in that at all. That's really discouraging for all of those kids who are in the public schools and whose parents are not pursuing private tutoring. I just feel really sad for all of them because it, she's doing her best. She's doing what she's trained to do, but it is not to the same caliber as this is at all. I mean, he was crying when I would want to, him to try to read with me almost every day. And I wouldn't, I mean, and I wouldn't push it because I knew that it was hard for him and sensitive, but I also felt like I don't know how we're going to get better if we don't practice. But I didn't have the tools or the knowledge to know what to do to help it be better. Rebecca just worked with him and he could see that he was doing it and they weren't asking too much of him and he was capable and it was just the watching his confidence grow has really been almost as miraculous as him reading, honestly. He just, he was just so far um, saddened by his situation. Which, when you have an eight-year-old kid, that's just so heartbreaking, like, so discouraged already, you know? But I can still remember the first time that he was brave enough, he wrote pears on the grocery list, and he sounded it out phonetically, and even though it was spelled very wrong, I could figure out what he wanted, and I knew that it was because of the Barton Method that he he put pears on the grocery list. It was such a big thing, and he 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 does do independent writing now, and he is willing to try now, and that's huge, so huge. He's just it's amazing to watch his confidence. They really helped me because I was feeling really discouraged as well, and I am fairly certain I cried probably once a month the first few months too because I. I couldn't see the results yet. I can ask him to read to his three-year-old sister now, and he will. And even before, he I mean, he was not even wanting to read like the very early readers, but now he will help, and he loves to like sit in when I'm teaching my five-year-old to read, like he wants to like tell me all the answers because he knows them now, you know? And he never had that ability before. So it's, it's been a beautiful blessing to be able to come here and pay you guys a car payment every month and see my kid succeed. I just want to thank your congregation for opening up your church during the week. I see a lot of church buildings sitting empty all week and your church is being used during the week to change lives because my son now has the option of going to college or not because he has the capability of learning to read and he didn't have that before we came here. So if it hadn't been for you guys helping back this program and letting us come here during the week, 
I don't know where we would be. And I'm just so thankful that you all are supporting your pastors in their endeavors to change lives through reading. Mm -hmm.